I found this board at Michael's. It was during their 40% off spring sale. And I started by painting it in our gray primer by Wise Owl. I love this color and it's also going to block any staining. And then I wanted to show you how this was had like a cluster of layered flowers and leaves. Um, which could be very overwhelming when you're looking at it as a whole. So I just wanted to show you how I go through and paint these items. I have a very small flat brush. And once you have your base coat, you don't have to worry about going around the leaves and getting on the edges. You're just going to drag your brush on the surface. And I broke this up with uh, Charleston Green, which is the darker. And now I'm going in with um, dry time in the greenery. You do not need a lot of paint. Less is better. And then I'm going through with the dry time and brushing it into the Charleston green and then the Charleston green into the dry time just a tad. I filled in these flowers with goldenrod. And now I'm filling in other flowers with the Republic Red mixed with white. And then I'm taking that darker mixture and starting around the first layer of petal and the center flower. And guys, it's really okay if your paint migrates into each other. But if your paint is, if your brush is dry enough, you're really not going to run into that issue. Like with this flower, I'm allowing the next layer, I did a little bit more white, and I'm allowing it to run into the first layer. And it, that's what flowers look like. They don't look like solid colors. They look like they are uh, blended into one another. And then I went and did the other side. And I did, I did a replica. I did the exact same pattern um, as I did the first corner. When you're done with this, you can either top coat it with our Wise Owl uh, salve. I would probably do that if I was leaving it indoors. Um, you could do three coats of our varnish if you wanted to set it outside. Um, and of course, the one hour enamel clear. This was a fun um, project. But I just wanted to show you that because I know a lot of the stores more and more are coming out with these layers of wood. And it can be overwhelming when you get it. And then I just did a couple black dots in the center of the flower. I found this welcome at Hobby Lobby and I'm painting it with inkwell. Inkwell is a very, very deep blue. It almost looks black. And I did this with a roller and again, I just worried about the surface and I allowed the natural wood on the sides to show and I thought this looked really pretty. I'm going to attach it with E6000 and a little bit of hot glue just to give me that immediate um, adhesion while the E6000 dries. It usually takes, I usually let it sit for 24 hours before I start using it. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfer, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.